My top, I don't really have a top five straight athlete, but I could go number one, Booby Doo. Y'all know Booby Doo? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's from New Bryn High. <laughs> He's from New Bryn High to Bucky Jones. So I'm going to give it. <laughs> 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 so. I'm going to give myself, the only reason why I'm going to give myself, because I saw this article, oh, let me turn this damn thing on. So I saw an article along, this news, this news writer did an article in the paper like a while ago. So he had his top athlete of the whole Connecticut, you know. So he had me number one by a slight margin, and then number two was Scott Burrell. So... So that's a guy who, he's from uh, Hamden, played basketball, baseball. I don't think he played football, but. Yeah, he played football. He played? Yeah. He yeah, yeah I covered, yeah. yeah. So I, I got Scott Burrell. Um, I'll give you football. Let me see. Um, I'm going to say Selena. I'm going to put Selena because Selena actually got Gatorade Player of the Year. Adam Singer? Adam Salina, but where do you go to high school? <laughs> Merlin, Connecticut. But, but I got robbed. I should have been Gatorade Player of the Year. <laughs> he beat me out because he had a 4.0 grade point average. I was rarely in school, so. <laughs> but yardage wise, he probably had about 1,200. I think I had like 2,300 or something like that. So. I put football wise Adam Salina. Another football player, I'm gonna put um Tariq Salayam, which he went to West Haven. He played at Wisconsin. And I think he did a few years in the league. And my fifth. Hold on, let me rearrange it a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna rearrange just a little bit. I'm gonna put Marcus Camby up there. We graduated the same year, but I think his game excelled after high school. Cause we actually, actually my junior year, he was at uh, Conard High School. I think we're the reason he went back to Hartford High School. Cause when he was at Conard High School, we beat him by 60. So he like, F this, I'm going back to Harford. And then we went to Harford, <laughs> they actually ended up winning the state championship. So that's my five. But I'm going to move Car Marcus up a little. The last three just rearranged him a little. He you put him in whatever though, order right? you want. He ain't play football though, right? No. Nah, Marcus 6'11, yeah. man, he ain't playing no football. <laughs> back then, he's about, <laughs> yeah, he's about 100. <laughs> He might have been one. He looked like about 140, but he probably, because of his height, he's probably about 200 or something like that. Maybe. Hmm. 185. I'll give him 185. And I'm going to give myself number one because I did all that without working out. <laughs> Never lift a weight till I went to college, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> Man. Oh man, I ain't left no weight. I ain't left no weight. So, Troy, what about you? Ah oh, man, see, this is see when you say athletes, this kind of that kind of like put it like in a, in a crazy thing because, like you said, he put a basketball player up there that didn't play football. Right. So we all played. So we all played football. So. I always, I always, what I, what I did to separate, I always say who were the most accomplished high school athletes. That are just athletes, who was the most accomplished. Right. Because there are players that I know that was great athletes that didn't get the recognition that other people got because they wasn't in that spotlight. So when you talk about accomplished, it's like 
what did you what did you earn? Did you break records? Who did you who did you go against? Like what like what what, what did you achieve? And not just I'm just an athlete. Cause like I said, like 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 Buck said, you had to go to top five. Of course, I'm gonna put myself I'm gonna put myself number one because what I did in high school, not too many people did in the, ever did in Connecticut. So not too many people who was ranked in the top five in track in the country and then come back and be one of the top 10 running backs in the country. So, and it's like, I didn't play basketball, I ran track, but at the same time, my track time was top in the country and I ran track, it was like, I always went against the people that wasn't from, in, from the East Coast. So my biggest competition was people from Florida, Texas, California, places like that to where I may look, I may look on the same plan or average to them, but up here is like miles ahead of everybody else. So, so if I, so if I was number two, I would probably put, I'd say Dwight Freeman. Not only did we go into school together, but we played against each other for years in Bloomfield and Syracuse. And I ain't never seen nobody that size, that fast, that that athletic, and he played baseball, great baseball player, and played basketball. So he definitely got to be up there. I ain't never seen nobody dominate mm-hmm. defense the way that he did. So Dwight would be my number two. My number three athlete, wow, that's hard. I'll probably, yeah, that's a tough one. So I have to go with that I've seen is, Guy, but he went to Hartford. He went to Hartford Public, but you wouldn't really know him like that unless you really knew it was Beanie Reynolds. Beanie, he was six, two, six, three. Played safety, running back, receiver. He played everything. In my freshman year, we won the championship at Hartford High, and he basically dominated every position that he played. And so he was. I, I, would, I would definitely put him up there. Then I would probably put Jamie Bryant, Rocket from Hartford High. He was all state New Haven registered basketball, football. He was all state everything. Yeah, so still I, playing. So I have to. He's still playing. <laughs> so I, I ain't never seen nobody play flag football like that. He's like the greatest athlete I've probably seen in person. So that'll be that'll be that'll be four. And out of out of the players that I actually seen and watched play football and all of that, I'll probably have to say. Dwight Anderson from Bloomfield. He played wide receiver and corner. I argue with all my friends from Bloomfield all the time. I tell them he's the best player ever from Bloomfield that I've seen. And they, I, they, they get at me with it. <laughs> but, but what he did on offense and defense, and he ended up playing, ended up playing for the Rams for a couple of years, he was, he was like the most dominant receiver corner that I probably have seen play, actually watch, to go watch play. So if I say my top five, Including football, but football players, that would probably be my top five. Uh, I know what the thing is, too. I, I forgot about the way. <clears throat> I'm going to throw an honorable mention in there. I forgot. <laughs> this is a Meriden guy, um, Rashawn Spikes. Spikes. <laughs> so, yep. yeah. I forgot, you know, he was a freshman when I was a senior, so. And we played them dudes, and he, he, he I could see it. Yeah, I mean, we put it on him, but I could see that future coming <laughs> with that guy. So let's do this. So let's switch it up real quick. We'll get back to you in a second. But Cam, you know, again, because being now to that, this is like different eras when it comes to like, you know, um, you know, players. What's yours? Yeah, so my, I mean, because I know about all the history from right. these guys being like, I'm, I'm only 29, so. He won the state champions the year I was born. So, <laughs> like, and then the rest of these guys, when they was coming, I was three, four, five years old. So I heard about all the stories and like when Alfred and all them, I seen them. So I, those were the peak guys. I was like, okay, I got to try to get to that uh, point when I get to high school. Um, coming in in 06, um, Cochran had just left the year before or 05, I think he had just left and went to New London. So that's when Jordan Reed, he's a year older than me. He was supposed to be there. David, well, I think was going to be there my freshman year as well. His brother, um, he had Byron Jones, um, Marcus Hagan, a bunch of guys that's from New Britain that ended up just going, spreading all over. So that just made the talent that we had in coming in. I was thinking that we were just going to dominate the state and things, but things didn't turn out the way it was. But coming into my top five, I believe ASAP Schwab from Weaver 
went to Notre Dame. I think he was there in 06, my freshman year. Um, he passed away of cancer, but he was a dominant, dominated uh, fullback. Um, Aaron Hernandez, uh, he, yeah, he was a senior my freshman year as well. And I think my, he might've been in my sophomore year. I think he still holds every receiving record in the state um, as a tight end. I think he had, I know he had 375 against, I think Newington went crazy, five touchdowns. And that was during the, uh, the Cochran um, rule era. So after these guys was blowing everybody out 70 to zero, we couldn't even go, after we scored 49, coach was taking us out after the third quarter, fourth quarter. We, that messed us up, I felt like in recruiting. And stats, uh, so that's another argument. We we'll go into that later. Um, so I said too. Uh, Chris Linares, teammate. Um, he's three sport all state um, indoor track. I think he ran in the sixty meter. I think it was six three high school. So I don't know. At that time they said it was good. So I don't know how it is comparable now. He had eleven picks one year too. No, oh, yeah, junior year he had eleven picks. Eleven in one year. Yeah. Yeah. Once he. I was a DB coach. Yeah, he, um, just to let you know. So yeah, he went all state double O there, all state um, track and all state baseball. I think he still holds the New Brand High record in ba uh, stolen bases, and um, he's the same way like you in terms of I know he didn't know in terms, like we were saying you know about the schools because yeah. I think like North Dakota State was like recruiting him to schools like that. He wasn't going out there, state of Central, and as we know, North Dakota State they been dominating one double a for since past decade 20 years of that um who else that's what that's four that not what i say three no what i say four i said four damn I, there's a whole bunch i ain't even um i'm gonna name my other team i'm gonna uh i'm gonna go buck jr because receive jr yeah because huh. uh for receiver, because honestly, being a DB and coming in just looking at the other guys that we were playing against, I don't think nobody like playing. I don't think nobody could go off against me or because I think like you even ask him, he coached us. Ain't nobody really anybody have receiving yards on a score a passing nah. touchdown. The only I think completed passes guys will get was a halfback pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> but um, damn, I can't, I can't. But I think that. they they all so. I think you had like six, seven picks or something I like had that. Six. The kid Lenars had eleven. The safety had uh, when was in Duguay had like eight. So everybody had like a lot of picks. I think when I was talking to uh, Coach Abrams, right? Like, oh, Kip Abrams, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He was saying something about like the All State thing too, because like that year it was like Chris. Or they were trying to figure out all state, but it's like oh yeah, so that's why they're all you guys. Are, so that was the thing too, like when we had the CST All Star game. So I went there for safety. I basically went as an athlete because that was another thing too. Me, Chris, and Bugsy were the only guys that pretty much played both ways. For some reason, they always switched me out and I kept me the defense. But when the um, CT All Star game came, uh, I went for safety. Chris went for corner. The coaches said, no, go to corner. We want to see what you do. Locking everybody down. Um, dang, I forgot who was there. I would say maybe Tyler Murphy or something from Weathersfield. All of the guys. Locking them down. He went to Florida. Uh, and then they were like, yeah, we're going to give you a call back the next day. He called Morell, was saying, yeah, we wanted to put have Cam as the other corner with Chris. But since Chris was already voted as All-State New Haven Registers, that we're going to keep him and they were saying the guys didn't want to have two New Britain guys starting. They were like, okay, so why can't Cam go for safety? They were like, well, where's Cam going to school? <laughs> so they took all the guys. They took um, this guy, I think it was like uh, Ryan, something Clemens. He was from Pomperot. He was like a 6'4", 6'4", 230 uh, safety. He ended up going to Central and playing quarterback. They took him over me. And he called Murrow, who like, yeah, we don't do this because uh, we know he was one of the he was the best one of the best guys that we had there. But we just wanted to let you know that um, we're not going to take him on the all uh, all star team, man, because he wasn't voted for all state. But we was clearly better than all those guys because even when we went down to um, what was that that camp at Stony Brook, we played like Don Bosco oh, yeah, yeah. prep. We yeah, played beat, um, beat them smoke all those dudes and uh, seven on seven getting recruited. But I ain't have no grades. My GPA in high school was a one. It was a one nine, one seven. 
I just did the bare minimum to stay eligible, yeah. and, <laughs> and it was just playing, yeah. But should have went to school yeah. when I went to school. <laughs> and then like I think I missed sixty five days. And then like looking back <laughs> now, I feel like if I knew the knowledge of the, I feel like if I knew the knowledge of the game now, that that I did back then, I feel like easily could have dominated and went to a one A school, and was easily the, one of the best players in the state. It's just like me, I feel like. I still feel like I underachieved in all the aspects in the, our, our whole team. And, damn, we had Darius, too, went to Miami. Yep. It, it Big Darius. There's a whole, like, my, t- my junior year team, I think we had, I want to say, eight or nine guys that went Division One, And we ain't made, we ain't, none of us never seen the play, a state playoffs in Connecticut. That's crazy. But because he brought them Southerton coaches in. But that's for another, oh, yeah, con- that, that's that, another that, conversation. That was crazy, too, yeah.